Hey there, it's Isaac from Powered by Rock here to bring Jim from Scoopski into the spotlight for a few minutes and make him sweat with some on-the-spot questions. Welcome, Jim. Are you ready to be put in the spotlight? I'm ready as I'll ever be. All right. So this one's going to be a bit of a, a wild card because this one's could be anything, but what's your favorite line from a song, yours or otherwise, that you can think of right now? Ooh. Uh... <laughs> Uh, ooh, you! I look just like Buddy Holly. Oh, oh, and you're Mary Tyler Moore. Okay, <laughs> a little Weezer for you. <laughs> All right. If you could play number two, if you could play in support of any musical act that is active right now, who would it be? Probably Weezer again. <laughs> okay, seeing a theme here. <laughs> That's good. All right, and then obviously we talked about this in our full length interview, but what instrument would you ideally play as your main instrument if Scoopsky had a full band? Uh, definitely would go with guitar because it's just guitar the easiest to play. Yeah, pl easiest to Don't play. Don't tell guitarists that they think it's super hard, and you got to be incredibly talented to be a, a guitarist. Yeah, that's well. If you play like me, you just play power chords. It's not yeah. as bad. But if you want to be like John Lennon or uh, you know someone. Yeah, maybe it's a little harder, but <laughs> yeah, exactly. Steve Vai or somebody like that. You're like, yeah, I'm not yeah. going to be playing that anytime soon. <laughs> right. All right. right. So your lyrics may imply from some of your songs that you're not entirely serious about the songs, but what's your take on why your songs are lighthearted, lighthearted or funny? Why they're lighthearted or funny? Um, yeah. Is it just some the way I write? Thing you had when you were a kid or something where you just wanted to make people laugh? Maybe it's a little bit of that. Um, I think I'm just kind of naturally a geek or a nerd. And I think sometimes I don't even try to make the things that I write funny, but they just come out that way. And, you know, uh, sometimes, sometimes maybe people are laughing at me, not with me, but, um, yeah, I think it's just the way I write. And, uh, it's just comes from the heart, even though it's jokey and silly, it still comes from the heart. And, uh, and if that's the way it comes out, then I guess my heart is silly and jokey. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, I actually played drums in a band with a singer who sings songs very similar in your vein as well. The band was called Two Eyed Cyclops, which is pretty funny in general because uh -huh. it had a it was a cyclops with a monocle. So instead of like having four eyes like someone with glasses, it was a two eyed cyclops. Um, but yeah, the right. the songs he would write, he's like, I'm not even trying to be funny. Like this stuff really happened to me, and I was sad about it. But now I have to have, have to <laughs> write about it because it's funny to me. It's it's I have to laugh about it, or else I cry about it. Basically, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> There you go. I guess that's his way of dealing with it. So <laughs> yeah. whatever works. <laughs> All right. This one's a little bit, uh, maybe a little more off topic, but totally something that I think maybe you could answer here, but, uh, what's, who would be your choice for the best president the United States could ever have? Ooh, best president the United States could ever have. I thought, um, I know like a couple of years ago, there was a lot of talk of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> Tom Hanks and, running with him or something like that. Yeah. I mean, they seem kind of unifying. So sure. Let's go with that. That's the ticket right there. <laughs> the Rock and Tom Hanks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Tom Hanks would definitely unify a good majority of the country for sure. Yeah. I think he would. All right. So let's run down some obligatory Philly questions. What's your favorite cheesesteak shop? That's a bit of a tongue twister too. Cheese steak shop. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. I'm actually not super complicated with cheese steaks. I like them very, very plain. And I actually, this is um, blasphemy to some Philly people, but I actually like them without the onions. Um, yeah. I actually think I like, um, there's kind of a chain up here called Steve's Prince of Steaks. And mm -hmm. uh, I think that's my favorite, Steve's Prince of Steaks. Gotcha. With the cheese whiz yeah. though still though, right? I'm fine with the cheese whiz. That can stay. Yeah. 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 I prefer <laughs> yeah. with a, like a, a nice provolone or something on there, but uh, yeah, the cheese sure. whiz, it's always good if you, if you get it right from the, right from the uh, shop there. Sure. All right. Yeah. Knowing that there's like a lot of candy manufactured in Pennsylvania, you've got Hershey, you got York, all these other things there. What's your favorite candy from Pennsylvania? Reese's for sure. Uh, okay. That's falls under the Hershey umbrella. So um yeah. And Hershey PA is great. Um, Hershey Park is amazing. Lots of great candy there. So I'm, I'm a Reese's guy. Always been my entire life. So you going with the, the peanut butter cups, not the pieces? All of it. I'll, I'll take the, 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 <laughs> cup, I'll, 
the cups are my favorite, uh, but I'll take the pieces too. You know, definitely ate too many Reese's pieces growing up, uh, seeing movies in uh, the movie theaters. So for sure. Yeah. All right. <laughs> What's your favorite show or movie based in Philadelphia? It doesn't have to be filmed. They're just based in Philadelphia. Ooh, based in Philadelphia. Oh, geez. Um, I keep wanting to say, um, M. Night Shyamalan does a lot of movies here. He does, um, yep. Yeah. And I can't remember because nothing's like popping out to me because like Rocky, um, you know, Rocky's OK. It's not my favorite, yeah. though. Um, I, I really like the movie Split by M. Night Shyamalan. And that's okay. I think that takes place in Philly, but I'm not positive. Um, it's highly likely. I haven't actually looked at where that's filmed, but that's highly likely. But if as far as TV that, shows, you got you got like the Goldbergs. You got It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. You have, um, I just lost, oh, Bam Margera had that TV show. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the heck that he was even called, where um, he was basically just a psychopath and beat up his dad all the time. But that was in, you know in Pennsylvania. You know, if Evil of Bam, that's, that was a show. That's probably yeah. my favorite. Um, yeah. Because <laughs> I watched that a lot growing up. That was, that was a big favorite of mine. So I'll go with yeah. Evil of Bam. <laughs> yeah, sure. that, that that one cracked me up. I mean, he would just run up and start socking his dad Phil on the back of the head or something. He's like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> and I actually, was, oh my God. You can't, you can't find those anywhere um, except for like YouTube. But last year I actually binged like all the episodes on, they're all on YouTube if you search for them. So That's just fun. recently watched those too. Great show. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, that's all I got for you, Jim. So thanks you. All thanks right. again for being here and stepping into the spotlight and answering these hot seat questions. Make sure you guys go to the show notes below this episode for links to the music and watch our full podcast interview as well. Rock on. We'll see you guys for next time. Take care.